Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex Trading. My name is Damien Levy. Forex useful tool become a profitable forex trader faster using Forex Tester 4. In this video, you will learn requirements to become a profitable trader, demo live trading versus Forex Tester 4 and time saving testing, filter whether a strategy works for you or not 10 times faster. Trading style best suited for this tool, price, and other tools available out there. How to become a profitable forex trader? There is a lot of things that will make you a profitable consistent trader. A solid trading plan, a trading routine, a mind that you make strong in order to handle trading money, etc. The one thing that we will talk about today is to select a strategy that fits you, that you can apply properly, and that makes money consistently over time. To make sure of this, there is a simple but quite long process. The first step is about verifying that the strategy that you choose as an edge equal is profitable. How do we do that? We can do that by looking into the past history of price on our chart, and apply the strategy to see the past results. Then we can do forward test, which means whether we trade the strategy live with a demo account, fake money, or with a very little money to still feel real condition of trading. Then only after those two first steps, we are ready. We then know the strategy is profitable. We have gained trust in it by practicing and we can finally go trading live. To put an image on the process, let's look into our trading platform and I will lead you through this process. So here we are, for example, on EuroCAD. And what we will do is, so we move to the beginning of the data, we move to the left as much as we can, and that's it. Then I will zoom out a little and then we can start uh, looking at the past results. For example, so we are on this specific point, so I will put a vertical line at the beginning of the data. Then, for example, if I trade the 4-hour chart, I will check, for example, the weekly level of support and resistance. So my vertical is the beginning of my data, and I want to, to look on the left side of it to place my level of support and resistance. So I put my chart just like that, and I will check all the level of support that I will trade when the price will come back to it. So this will be my white horizontal line. So there's one here. After that, there is one right here. Nice one. After another one, beautiful. And let's say it's a simple strategy. We just want to take reversal point at level of support and resistance. <coughs> so I play those level. And now I will come back to the four hour chart and I will check the result of this specific level. So here I am. My vertical line is the beginning of my chart right here. And I can start moving forward on the four hour chart. So there is a short key on MetaTrader to advance one candle at a time, pressing F12 will move one candle. So you have to press repeatedly F12 to go one candle after one candle until we meet one of my weekly level of support and resistance. Fast forward a bit. So here, as we see, you have a level right here and the price made a head and shoulder. So for example, you would have taken an entry at the middle of the angle thing right here. This would be my entry, stop loss a bit below the, the bottom and we move forward and see if it triggers. So now my trade triggered right here and we have a trade. So if I take three reward on this, I have a stop loss around like 50 pips. So I should make 150. So let's say I will place uh, an horizontal line, a yellow one at 150 pips. Let's say around here, 140, so 150 is right here. And we see if the price will reach this level. And when I reach two reward, I will place my stop to break even. So at this specific point, my price made 100 pips in my favor. My stop loss will move to break even. And I test and price is touching my three reward. It's a winning trade. So I will took like an Excel uh, spreadsheet and I will not like right here, first trade. So your cat, for example, I risk 2% of my account and I win three reward. 
so it's a six percent profit and that's it for my trade if i have negative i will place in this specific column and that's the way you will go trade by trade using the back testing using historical data and using the metatrader for which is the trading platform everyone uses. so that's the first trade for example now i can remove it and now we go to the next time the price touch the level <coughs> so i go a bit too far the same if i trade this level you have a pin bar right here and the retracement is at the middle of the pin bar stop loss below and we can see what happened just right after so price move in my favor again and this made free reward right here so stop loss below like 20 pips only stop loss and it made 80 90 pips already so that's it now let's wait for we have taken two attempts we can wait for the third attempt but i will not take it because usually after the third attempt there is less probability of the price to hold and that's exactly what it did so price retouch the level and after it breaks so now we will see to trade the level in the other direction so if price come back to it we want to sell this level very simple strategy so if you want to back to back test it you continue until price reach either of the level didn't retouch didn't retouch now retouch too fast so now it retouch so it makes a very big candlestick doji which is not ideal to enter a trade so i wait a pin bar or something smaller so we have like inside bar outside bar right here if you trade outside of this can be a good but i will also wait for example a nice pin bar or an angle thing which is what i prefer so this is doji hammer hammer and uh, we have an angle right here right here so you have an angle right here so you enter the trade right here stop loss right here and you count if it reach 3v1 and same you note on your excel sheet what are the results of this trade so this one is a losing trade price came all the way here make two little doji angle thing again and this angle thing was a huge winning trade as you can see so that's the way you back test the history chart so you can see the back test on history it's uh, doable with a traditional trading platform but it's not very easy because there is no account of your trade you can't place a trade in the past using manual strategy like this one which manual strategy most of the time are the most profitable you know your four hour data start here and you will trade based on the four hour confirmation but if you switch on the weekly since you are in a trading platform you will always see appearing on your chart uh, what happened after see so you have to put your chart on the right end to not see what's happening after to be able to place your line it plays a little bit bias inside your head when you see what happened after and using a trading platform you don't have so much choice so it's a free tool to do it on platform like this but it's not very efficient to do a back test on historical data with the good market condition and the good mindset so that was the first step so once you have back tested your your strategy in history what you will do is you will for example come back to the present price action and then from this point you will place your level if you use the same strategy so remember we use weekly level of support and resistance to trade on the forward chart so for example this level right here yeah it seems good for me and after you have this right here and eventually zeus nice rejection from last week uh, two weeks ago and then at this specific time if you use the four hour chart you need to wait for the price to touch this level and to give you a pattern so for the demo testing the forward testing of your strategy you will have to spend a lot of time waiting for the price to happen and when the price will be at your level then you will be able to place a trade that's that is the second step the first step is back test in historical data and the second step is forward testing on a demo account or eventually you can trade with like 0.01 lot the minimum trading money if you are in a country from europe or usa it might be possible for you and it doesn't represent a lot of money and you will still feel the touch of trading money which will look like real trading condition for you demo live versus forex tester 4 the higher time frame from the four hour chart then daily weekly and finally the monthly provides the most reliable trading signal when you trade those time frame the regular way on a demo account using a real live data 
or real money live in the market. Trading those time frame require a lot of time to assess if your strategy works or not. Let's look at an example using my own strategy for swing trading on the chart for our chart. So here we are on my analysis from two weeks ago, and I will show you by chart uh, what we have to wait. So this is a four hour chart, and my analysis is based on the monthly and higher time frame. We have nice opportunity to make good move, but those opportunity happens not very often during the week. For example, on this chart, we are on odd CAD. During two weeks, we had only one opportunity right here to sell. It was a good opportunity, made, made quite good money, uh, but it happens only one time in two weeks. So this can be a problem when you want to make your skills better, when you want to, to own your entry skills, or when you want to own uh, the way you place your level on the chart and see if they work. This doesn't provide a lot of opportunity on a specific pair. So that's why I analyze a lot of pair for this swing trading strategy, so I get a lot of opportunity. But when you are at the stage when you want to test the strategy and see if it's profitable, uh, this is complicated to see on demo or live trading. So you have to use historical data when you trade from the four hour time frame and above. If you look at Old Singapore, it's the same. In two weeks, we have only had only one opportunity. It was a good trade, but it happened only one time in two weeks. So that's the frequency. Those signals are more reliable from higher time frame, but you have less opportunity to trade them. And if you don't have enough experience taking the entry of those specific trade, uh, you might not be able to take advantage of those good trades because you don't have enough experience taking them. Now, even if you want to learn how to trade lower time frame, like the five minute or even the one minute chart, sure, on demo and on live account, you will gain experience way faster than using the four hour chart. But it still takes hours sometimes for a setup to form and the waiting time is still a lot there. Then we have to take into account that the lower time frame are less reliable. And to master the skills on the lower time frame, you will need a bigger amount of experience. Let's again look at the one minute chart trading strategy on demo for the example. So let's come back to our EuroCAD. And in this time, since we want to trade the one minute chart, I will take level of support and resistance from the one hour chart. So for example, I want to trade this level of resistance becoming support when it will retouch. And eventually the nearest should be yeah, this level of resistance into support also. So now I need to wait once again, even if I switch to the one minute chart. And you can see that even on the one minute chart, before the price reach one of the nice level where I can take a good trade with it, uh, it might take 30 minutes, one hour, maybe one hour and a half, two hours. So there is still a lot of waiting time to when you forward test any strategy using a demo account or eventually little money to test your strategy. And this waiting time is just wasting your time. I mean, your only purpose right here is to see if the strategy works properly. And to do that, if you have a lot of wasting time, most likely you will not place your trade very efficiently and you will not be able to see if the strategy works, not because the strategy doesn't work, but because you have had too much waiting time. And when the trade finally came, you didn't take the trade the way it should have been taken if you were in a great state of mind. That's the point here. Forex Tester way of testing. Forex Tester 4 combines the history backtest with the forward testing style, since you can place trades in the past. No need for a spreadsheet, the software takes notes of all your trades. You can also analyze the chart at a specific moment in the past without seeing what happened in the future. So you can't have a wrong bias because you don't see the future. It doesn't appear. Then we can fast forward the candles. So you can go directly to the moment you will need to take action. This specifically make you win tremendous amount of time. Combine those functions and you can work purely on your trading skills without spending any time into waiting. You optimize your time greatly. Nothing better than an example to show you. So here we are on the Forex Tester 4. It looks like 
similar to MetaTrader 4 and there is a lot of shortcuts that are the same than MetaTrader 4. So this is a good point for the platform. When you want to test a project, you will click on new project here. You need to set the project name. So AU, I will trade AudioSD for example. I select AudioSD and I will take for example the FXDD data right here. After I go to next, my GMT time, I set the time zone to GMT plus two. Start testing from the first dat date in range. Perfect. Create. So here is a candlestick on the one minute chart. Start to unfold. I will pause it. And I will go from the weekly chart. For example, if you still apply this strategy, taking weekly level of support and resistance and trading them on the four hour chart. And I will go here to fast forward one candle. It can be backspace. So I will do backspace and see what I got. And as soon as I have a strong level of resistance or support on the weekly, that's what I have. I will place an horizontal line right here. That's a nice level right here. And eventually, strong candle right here. So I prefer the level of support, so I, I will stay from here. After that, so I was on the weekly chart, I will go on the forward chart. And I will expect my forward chart to come back to this specific weekly level, which is right here. So I fast forward all the candle, don't need to go slow. It's near. Will it touch it? Okay, now we are very near, so I will go just one candle at a time to check if there is a pattern. So there is a candle breaking the level very strongly, so it might not be a resistance, but a support in the future. Let's see what happens. Then we have a doji. So we can eventually take the break of the doji going down. Still expecting this level to reject. And it was a fake out. Expecting this to be a fake out. So I open the pending order. Just clicking on this item right here. And I will click on this case. It calculates my risk to 1% per trade. Which is awesome. After that I will select I want to sell stop. Which is perfect. You have the, the choice here between the limit or a stop, and I want to sell a stop. It's a breakout trade from this specific for our doji. So the price I want to enter is a bit below the spike. So right here, for example, my stop loss, I will place it manually using this pipette right here. And my target profit, so I don't many pips place order. Let me see how many pips we have right here. We have... Uh, 32 pips, so I want around 100 right here. So around the bottom of this candlestick right here. So I will click on modify. And so I will modify this order with 100 pips profit. Okay. So I modify and that's my order placed. And after that, I just move one candle. So my order is triggered. So this was a real breakout and it's a losing trade. Now I will come back to my weekly chart and I will check the next level. So I'm on the weekly. My next level should be around here. Actually more, more like here, right here. So I come back to the forward chart and I advance until I find the price taking this level quite near. Yeah, we have a railroad track at the level. This would be a perfect trade, retracement entry. So it will be a sell limit at the middle of the candle. Stop loss above. Cancel. Let me check the target profit. So it should be three times. We have 50 points, so 150. So 150. Since it's micro pump, I will meet one, 1,500. And the target is three times, so we perfect. I place my order, and let's see what happened. Trigger my trade. So now we have one low with railroad track. I will move my stop loss below this. So you can really manage your trade in the real way you would have managed your trade in real. And after, it trigger my target profit, and this is a winning trade. So just for the example, I show you only two. So we trade the four hour chart and you, we use the weekly chart. And you can see how fast you can already have placed two trades properly. 
And this is my history. The account was $10,000. It placed 1% per trade. The first trade I lost $98, which is around 1%. And the second trade I win $360, which is more than 3%, which is perfect. So as you can see, uh, you win a lot of time and it keeps tracks of all your trade. So once you have made your next level, you can come back to, to your chart and you check for the next level of support and resistance. And when you go, you forward the candle until the price reaches the level. And when the price reaches the level, you can analyze where you will place your trade and see the result. If your operation is right, if your way to do it is right or not, if you have to improve something, if you have to do it something different and everything. That's the way it works. Additional to that, you have different panels to analyze your trade, which can be statistic, for example. So here are your statistic, total of trades, profit per trade, etc., etc., and your percentage winning trade, profitability, etc., etc. So you have all the analytics available also of all your trade there. So that's basically the way you test it. And which is great, I remind once again is, you are at this specific moment in time. If you switch to the weekly chart, you will not see what happened after. If you switch on the monthly chart, you will not see either what happened after. And you can trade when you have like two to three months history of data, you can start to trade any strategy. If you use support and resistance, you can start to place your support and resistance using this data. And it's a very, very good tool. Filter a working strategy. Forex Tester 4 makes you verify if a strategy works pretty quickly, as you can see. You can also gain confidence and experience in the strategy, taking hundreds of trades in a matter of hours. When, if you have looked at your traditional MetaTrader 4 platform, for example, or demo trading the strategy, it would have taken you months sometimes to get the same amount of trades for you to practice. This is a huge help to own your skills and be able to trade the strategy fluently with confidence. You will also see if you like the trading strategy or not. Note that I recommend using the data from big brokerage firm like Forex.com, FXCM, and FXDD. Those are for paid data only. The free data for Forex Tester 4 is from Forex site, and for me, it's a bit lower quality. Trading style best suited for this tool. The most successful traders that I came across over the years trade using what is called price action. Basically, they trade without indicators on their chart. They focus on the movement of the price itself and on market structure, support and resistance, uptrend, downtrend, etc. What I mean here is if you want to learn how to trade using the price movement without indicators, then Forex Tester is perfect for you and you will master your skills 10 times faster using it. If you orient your learning into using indicators to trade, which is not my preference, then Forex Tester can fit you because there is a lot of indicators included in the platform. But if you want to use Forex Tester using custom made indicators, you will have to convert your indicators to the Forex Tester platform. And sometimes it is not possible. That's just a little con here. If you use two complex indicators to trade, you might not be able to have them working on FT4. My complete Forex course and my free mentorship are oriented into price action trading. So if you are my student and you want to become consistently profitable faster, honestly, this is the best way to go. Personally, I regret I hadn't used it much sooner Personally, I regret I hadn't used it much sooner. It was and still is a great help in my trading. Price. To buy this platform, there is a one-time payment. Plus, if you want data, there is a monthly subscription. I have a link below this video to buy the platform at a discounted price. Before buying anything, there is a free version for you to test and see if you like it. In all transparency, I have a partnership with the Forex Tester company. This partnership gives me a commission if you buy from my link. And also, more importantly, it gives you a discounted price from the regular price. The regular price is $299. With my link, you can access promotion and buy it sometime for $139 when they have strong promotion.
For the data, a little tip, you can subscribe one month and download all the data, then you stop the subscription. Other tools available out there. I have presented here the advantages of a platform tool like Forex Tester 4. I emphasize Forex Tester 4 because after researches and testing the others, I strongly place Forex Tester 4 in the first position. But if the price is too much for some of you, here are some other platforms, tools that will do the job also. But expect a lot more hassle in tracking your trades and way less easy to use than Forex Tester 4. The second choice is Soft4FX. This software runs on MetaTrader 4. It's a bit cheaper and there is only one time payment, no data, but it's way lower quality than Forex Tester. The third choice is TradingView. TradingView, to have access to the testing tool, you will need to subscribe to them. And the last choice is Ninja Trader. It's a free platform and the testing is free there. So those are the other choices that you have. To summarize, to select a strategy and trade it properly, you need to first backtest on historical data and second forward test on demo or live with little money by trades. Once those two steps are done, you know if your strategy is profitable or not and you have gained enough experience to trade it on real account. Backtest and forward test take a tremendous amount of time and is a hassle with most of the trading platform. Forex Tester 4 makes you win time by making you trade like real condition, historical price story. Additional to it, you will be able to forward the candles until the price reach the action zone, where you will need to place your trade based on your manual strategy. It will also track your trade results and compute your trading size automatically if you want. The platform, Forex Tester, merges the two first steps of your testing into one. The FT4 is better suited to test manual trading strategies or price action based strategy. It fastens your learning time tremendously. I personally think this should be the first investment of every trader. It has helped me beyond words. There is an affiliation link below this video giving you a special discount. To buy the platform is a one-time payment, then you can subscribe to the data service to get historical data price from big brokerage firm like Forex.com or FXCM. There is other similar tool out there, but way lower when it comes to the quality and easy to use. Some of them are, for example, soft for FX or trading view. Final word, using a back testing software, whatever it is, can seriously improve your trading skills. And Forex Tester is the best platform out there today. We are already at the end of the video. Subscribe for updates. Please like and share this video if you found the content useful. Comment below if you want to give me your feedback or if you want a video on a specific topic. I propose a free mentorship with access to more than 30 pairs analyzed weekly and real-time trading alerts. You can join by my Facebook group and Telegram channels, the links are below. If you want to learn how to analyze the market on your own and become a professional profitable trader, I also propose two complete courses. One on binary option, one on forex. I post a link below explaining what you will find in them and also where to find the reviews from my previous student. Finally, if you need a quality forex broker, I recommend IC Market through ECN Low Spread and Commission regulated in Australia. Their link is below. I wish you success in trading. See you soon.